Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about small web application, how to calculate two numbers. Okay, let's go program. So here, this was the JSP page. In I have created. Here, we are going to implement our logic. Enter first number. input type equal to text So here we created one small, uh, two small text boxes and one submit button. So first one uh, name is uh, enter first number. In text box we have given value type as a first value. So this value we will retrieve in another JSP page. Same like second one. So this is another text box for accepting another number. So after clicking the submit. So it's need to call one action. So that action, inside that action, we will calculate these two numbers and will display on JSP. So for that, what we need to do is we need to add form. We need to give as action is in calculate dot JSP. So whenever you are clicking the submit button but automatically by default form action will call so here i have given action name as a calculate.jsp in this calculate.jsp only we will write our logic okay creating calculate.jsp new one jsp next so i am giving name as a calculate so click on next finish so here calculate.jsp is successfully created result of two numbers so here we got result of two numbers so we need to give page attribute percentage at the red page language equal to java okay now we need to read values int first value equal to so whatever data is coming from index.jsp that is coming as a string format so we need to convert that string to integer format so here i am directly converting integer dot percent of request dot get parameter of first value so same for second one also So here we got two values and we converted that integer now we'll print that one int final result equal to 
first value plus second value so this result we need to print in our JSP so I am using out dot print ln So in calculate.jsp first we are reading first value then we are converting into integer second value also we are reading value and we are converting as integer then finally we are calculating that as a addition so final result we are going to display on JSP So now we'll run. So now I am running. Right click as run as. So run on server. Click next. Finish. Server has started. See, first value is coming. So here you need to give value one. To so calculate. Oh, something is wrong. Get value. Sorry. We need to give not value. We need to give name. Name. So again, save. Right click. Run as. Run on server. Click on finish. So here we are getting 3, 3. I am giving first number as a 3 and second number as a 3. So clicking on calculate. See, we are getting addition of two numbers is a 6. See friends, if you are observing here, so if it is a sensitive data means, so it should not be displayed in this address bar. So hackers can easily identify what data is going. So the, because why this data is coming is by default form action is going as a get method. So that's why here the values which is going to the calculate.jsp it is appending on URL. We'll change that method. So here I'm giving method name equal to post. Save the program. And run as run on server. Click on finish. So here I am giving 5 and the number is 6. Click on calculate. See now result is 11. But if you observe here, there is no request query parameters appended in calculate.js because we have given method as a post. So we'll discuss in later what is the difference between get and post. So most of the 100% application will use the post data only because get data is not secured. Okay. We'll discuss later in that th uh, that two things. What is the major difference between get and post? When we need to use get and when we need to use post. Okay. Thanks friends. Thanks for watching my video. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and share my videos. Thank you very much.